couple of seats up here, because that was three seats, so if you want to rest your legs, please come forward and don't bite. <laughs> Just, um, well, I'm a bit sort of really overwhelmed um, by how many people have come this evening. Thank you very much, especially to family and friends, it seems. People have come from all corners of the island, from, from Durham, from Hanboidi near Carmarthen in Wales, from Jersey, and to my surprise and delight, my son and his partner have come over from New York to this mm -hmm. event. So, uh, <laughs> not for me, but I'm close to it. <laughs> I'd also want to say how especially I appreciate Kenneth Harmon and Stephen, his director, for the encouragement of his publishing the book and all the care he's taken in seeing it through press. And uh, also Peter Charles, who is part of this. Right, um, if anybody's nervous that this is going to be a marathon, um, don't. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to read five uh, poems, maybe six, that um, give you a sense of the span of this rather slim volume. I'd like to start with the poem titled Departures, which in, contains near the beginning a couple of brief quotes from the classical Chinese poet Li Qing Chao. And in one of these quotes is the uh, which became the title of this book. Departures. Oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> so you wanted, you wanted the page number? <laughs> I, I can find it. Oh, okay. <laughs> A hot summer night, the sound of rain in the courtyard, a satin breeze sways the curtains. She wrote, Gently I open my silk dress and float alone on the orchid boat. Who can take a letter beyond the clouds? All those years ago, when he wrote, a picture held us captive and we could not get outside it. When the winter came, she wrote, I put on my new quilted robe, sewn with gold thread. Is that how you saw it? Passing a mirror in a dusky corridor? That face, the tilt of those shoulders? Or the bright light of morning, the details of your face in that mirror? A picture as though set, but perhaps the wear of years, dreams, but this is where we've come to, and the future best left to itself. The letter will reach the other side of the mountains. Clouds will roll back clear of the summits. What was needed was done, but never done. It's never done floating along the mountain. Drifts of rain, streams sweeping across the path. Clouds are long, so low you can barely see the path. Do you stumble on the rock? How to imagine an orchid bird? It gets harder, but things come and go. The sun comes out, and everything seems to sparkle, and the letter spirals away. The picture in the mirror 